Does anyone have a question? Stuart? Yes, sir. Can you tell the story of how Stuart gave you guardians when you had the camera stolen? Stolen. Well, Rudy gave me. What Rudy gave you? You know, I look. I I, I was very close to Rudy. Uh, you know, he was the most important person in my life. I asked him at one point after Muktananda came to America, and uh, I asked him if I could live in his house. He had a big loft building, or he had a loft building. And, you know, I mean, studying with him was an amazing thing because he was the one person I'd ever met who was capable of breaking me down in a really loving way. And I remember when, you know, we had gone to Big Indian and we came back from Big Indian and uh, parked the car in a garage on Ninth Street or something like that, Fourth Avenue. And I uh, went back to the house, to the ashram, and somebody called Rudy and said that he left his camera in the car. And Rudy asked me to go over and get it. So I went over, I got the camera, and as I was walking home, I was literally surrounded by about 10 kids, you know, threatening to kill me if I didn't give them the camera. I mean, right on the street, I was, you know, mugged. Well, you know, they didn't hit me, they didn't hurt me, but I gave them the camera. And I didn't know what the hell would have happened if I didn't. And there was no reason not to, because why play games like that? When I got back to Rudy's house, he took one look at me and he said, what happened? So I told him. So he said, come here, sit down. And he did some very deep exercise where he put these protective forces around me. You know, they were spiritual forces. They were higher energy forces around me. And he told me, he said, you'll be protected. You know, things like this are not going to happen to you again. And, you know, it. I mean, I don't know. I, <clears throat> I've gone through my life. I haven't had too many people try to mug me since that day. But I have needed a lot of protection because people, well, I don't want to get into all of that. Much worse stories of what people were doing and people in black magic and all kinds of bullshit, you know? And I needed the protection. And the incredible genius of Rudy is he knew these kinds of things were going to happen because he had gone through them himself. And he gave me that protection that helped me get through those things, as well as Nichananda and, you know, a number of other teachers, you know, Ramakrishna and Ramana Maharshi. And I've lived with that protection now since, geez, I mean, you know, 1972. And, you know, he recognized that I was one of the few people that was going to carry on his work, at least in a pure state, you know. I mean, people hang Rudy's picture up all the time, and very few of them really do Rudy's work. They're med a real version of his meditation. And, you know, look, I remember once in Big Indian, uh, he always complained about Big Indian. He always threatened he was never going to come back and he was tired of all the bullshit that was going on there. And I mean, you can listen to his tapes and he talks about it, you know. And, you know, we were dragging trees that we were cutting down on the side of a Rudy and I on the side of a mountain because he wanted to put an apple orchard in there. 
And, you know, there's a fire. We were burning the trees. And, and came lunchtime. And on the way back to the main house, uh, he was talking about all the bullshit that goes on in Big Indian and how tired he was of it and all this stuff. And so I said, Rudy, what happens to all these people? And I'll never forget what he told me. He said, you know, Stuart, in 20 years, you'll still be doing this meditation. You'll be a person who I know I can pass this on to. He said, none of these people will be here. And it's true, they all vanished, They're gone. And, you know, it was that kind of relationship I had. It was amazing, you know, where he could see my future and he knew how important I was in his spiritual development and my own spiritual development. And then, you know, and when he gave me those guardians, it was very important, not even then, but later on in my life, I went through such crap with people, you cannot believe, I don't, it was almost surreal, the madness that people were trying to dump on me. I needed the protection. He had given me the protection literally 25 years before all of that shit happened. So it's just, you know, it's a relationship between a student and a teacher, you know? And it really was based on unconditional love. And I wasn't easy for him. I was a very mixed up neurotic young man, you know, when I was young. A lot of insecurity and a lot of problems, kind of things you don't see in me today. But then I had them all. He once told me, I'll never take another student like you. Don't forget that. I said, well, Rudy, thank God I made the cut, you know? But he saw past all of that. He, he saw past. And I, I like to look that way at the people that study with me, who have that kind of commitment. And I truly know that I can pass this work on to that I do. You know, I, you know it's very important. So that's how it happened. I was mugged. I mean, there must have been at least 10 kids screaming, pull out the knife, get the knife, kill him. You know, if he doesn't give us the camera, <laughs> I gave them the camera. <laughs> and they all just ran away. You know? Thank you, Stuart. You're welcome. Does anyone else have a question? They'd like to ask? I have a question, Stuart. Chris? Yes. Um, Stuart, in your um, Tantra post that you just did, it was very interesting and deep, and you said something in it that I don't understand. And can oh, I... I really... it. <laughs> that just comes through me. Oh, go ahead. Okay, it, you said each chakra has its own male-female entity that seeks union and wholeness. I've never heard you talk about that before. Can you explain that, please? Well, there's nothing to explain, you know. The, in order for the chakra to become whole, completely, you know, uh, developed, there has to be a union of masculine and feminine in each chakra, uh -huh. as well as the major union, which takes place in the sexual area. But that brings, you know, completion, wholeness to the chakra, total development. It's not just emotions. You know, emotions can be pretty crazy in people. And if that male-female energy isn't unified in the heart chakra, it's always going to be scattered. Yeah. It's in everything. I mean, look, you have these macrobiotic people and food. You got to put together the yin and the yang in order to eat dinner, you know? I mean, it, it's in everything. <laughs> that, that wholeness of being, that oneness, that union of masculine and feminine. And it's something, you know, I just wrote a 
I've been going over all those tantric things. You know, I'm afraid that if some publisher gets in touch with me, they're not going to be finished up to the level where I want them to be. And now I've done about 50 or about 80 of them. I don't know, a lot of them, 80 of them. And I've got them up to par. You know, and the one I just finished, uh, unbelievable, you know, boy, this going to get this one's gonna get me in a, a lot of trouble. <laughs> 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 but I like it a lot because it's really true. It's not bullshit, it's really true. And it has to do with this male, female, but it has but it focuses on sexual energy. Mm. It's like an X-rated tantra thing I got there. <laughs> And it focuses on sexual energy and the union of sexual energy and and also why sexual energy drives people crazy. <laughs> because there isn't that union of the male-female principle in their sexual energy. It affects every other chakra. It affects their physical being, their mental being, their emotional being. And it's why doing this meditation is about unifying the male female principle that's the essence of tantra mm -hmm. and by doing that and allowing that to happen in every chakra you create a whole it's a holistic approach to meditation you become a whole person that's just fascinating thank you i don't know if it's fascinating but it certainly works if you do it it really works I've known you a long time, and I never have heard you say that. No, I spoke about that years ago. I, and in writing this thing, these things are coming through, you know. <laughs> Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? I, I would just like to say something, you know, something I never talk about, but I'd like to just say, you know, uh, people make donations to me and I have a lot of gratitude. For I don't talk about it. I don't even send out thank you notes. It's just too much. But I just want you all to know people that really go out of their way to support this, to make donations. I have infinite gratitude, you know, it enables me to live my life. I don't have to become a taxi driver or an Uber driver, and I can just live my life. I don't get rich, but it pays for some of the bills, you know? And I just want you to all know that I have deep gratitude every time somebody makes a donation. It really opens my heart very deep. People care. They're saying, yes, we care. We care that these classes go on. We want to support you. And I just, you know, they make that kind of an effort. And some people don't make that kind of an effort. And I don't know why, but uh, it's their problem. It's not my problem, you know? But I just want you all to know that I am very grateful for that, to people doing that. So God bless you and thank you. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? Okay, as I told you the other day that uh, on Friday I'm going to have this, I have, somehow I got a hernia. <laughs> I think it was, I was rowing. I really got very involved in rowing in the gym. And I think I gave myself a hernia. I have to have an operation to get rid of this thing. So that's going to be on Friday. And I'm not sure what the class schedule is going to be until I get better from this operation. So I'm not skipping out of class. I'm just, I have to have this thing done. You know, it's just really important. So just so that you all know that this is going to take place, it'll be on Friday morning. And as soon as I feel up to doing, you know, I don't know, take maybe four or five days a week, maybe maximum, I think, uh, we'll resume the classes. So God bless you all. Thank you. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you. There will be a class tomorrow evening. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you.
You're Thank welcome. you. Thank you very much.